Once again, it's on agenda. Rock by the Nando Grills are the second Solomon the Y second. AKA Addis had no time to check time. You see, no time. You see, everything, you know, no time. So, uh, you, you can never know what you are capable of until you are in the jungle. Have you noticed that suddenly motivational speakers are no longer speaking? <laughs> Everybody has uh, entered the DC. So, but there is something about motivational speaker is a is an inert ability. Once it's there, it's there. No matter how you do it, no matter where you meet them, it's the same thing. So I'm suddenly saying that all my motivational speaker, I woo, I woo, I woo, I wear without official leave. Mm. So I'm meeting one of them. Ah, not conference. So it was at a, this thing, one kind of garden like that. So. He's sitting away from normal. Normally, normally, he sit at high table. He's the one that we first see once you come to there. But this time, I'm seeing that he's in. Uh, so, ah, uh, is uh, I'm the ah, 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 ah. This is uh, Edward. Edward, the motivator. So, uh, I'm approaching him by myself. So, uh, Ed. You know, when you have money, Edward becomes Ed. Or Eddie. So, uh, or when you're struggling, you're still Eddie. But when you make it, you now become Ed. So, uh, Ed. No, he said, oh, ah, oh, oh, it's Edward, Edward. Oh, ah. By the time he said Edward, I know something I'm wrong. So I was about to ask him, and I said, oh, okay, you're looking good. So I said, thank you, thank you. How about you? He said, well, we're doing fine. Um, then the next thing just shocked me. You know, no matter what motivational speaker is doing, he will bring motivation into it. The next thing just look at me and say, uh, um, so do, do you have any idea? On the progression of the horticultural landscape of this environment. I'm thinking maybe uh, this thing will come is children, this thing now. I come to have to what is he talking about? Uh, it's not clicking until the next thing he's telling me say, well, I'm into the um, topographical um, landscaping and the uh, as I say, yes, he's saying it, I just look at it and say, what do you mean? I didn't even have time for that. There's no time for all this nonsense again. Uh, you say, well, um, I'm into farming. I, I, so, all this English is farming. The next is, uh, uh, have you seen my eggs? What kind of pride is this? Have you seen my eggs? I look at him. How can you be discussing egg with me here? What do you mean? He said, oh, sir, but, uh, if you see my broilers, my cocks are very big. My cock, when they go, my eggs are very big. You can't. That's when I just immediately said, excuse me, excuse me, sorry, sir. I don't like fried egg. I'm sorry. I don't like fried egg. I don't eat boiled egg. Anything egg, I don't eat. Have a good day. What the hell are you talking about? If you know what was playing in my head, my cock and my bro. <laughs> you should check out my egg. Check out which egg? Are you all right? Oh, when you come down there, I should check out your egg. Your cock is the... What do you mean? Ah. Uh, and you know how to speak English. You can't use any other terminology to describe what you are describing. Do you know what is playing in my head as you are saying my cock is big and you should check out my egg? What kind of nonsense? Come down there! Nonsense. Motivational nonsense.